Hi, this is Mark from Wicked Design. In this WordPress tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can change the default WordPress logo and link on your login page from this into something like this. As you may already know, WordPress doesn't give you the ability to change this logo in the settings. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can change all of this with just a little bit of code. In order to add this code to your website, I'm gonna be using this plugin right here called Code Snippets. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can just download and activate this on your website. After you have code snippets installed, you're going to see this new tab right here called snippets. And on this website, I already have a whole bunch of them, but since you're going to be brand new, you're just going to want to click the add new button. Then what I recommend is giving it a very descriptive uh, title right here, because if you're going to have a lot of code snippets, you're going to want to make sure your titles have a good description so you know what they are in the future. Then you're just going to paste in this first chunk of code right here. And basically all you're going to have to change out is just this one URL right here. So as you can see, this URL is just pulling in the default uh, logo that I'm using for this test website. So this is just using an SVG image. And so you could just copy you know, this right here, just go to uh, copy image address, and then that's gonna give you the URL that you could just paste in there. And you can keep everything else by default. You may wanna change the width of this right here. So this width 100% is the width of this whole container. So if I go right here, this container right here is pretty narrow. I think it's 320 pixels wide. So if you look right here in the inspect, you can see that this whole container right here is only 320 pixels. So this logo is taking up 100% of that. And what it's doing with the rest of the code is just centering it right here. So if you want it to be a little bit smaller, you could just change this to something like 80% and it won't fill up the whole width. So if I hit save right here, and go back into here, hit refresh, you're gonna notice it looks a little bit smaller. And the last thing you may wanna change is if you look right here, if I click on this right here, it's gonna to go to wordpress.org. So by default, WordPress has, like I said, their original logo like this, and it will redirect to wordpress.org. So with one other line of code, you could just change that out. So if you just go ahead and just paste in this right here, you can see this right here is your new URL. So once you hit, uh, save, you're going to notice that you go back to that page and that's going to give you a link directly to whatever URL you have. So if I hit back, hit refresh, this will now go to wiki design. And that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you could just download this code right here and just change out these two different fields and you'll be good to go. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from wiki design.